Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo news, we're going to talk about how a 22-year-old martial arts instructor got busted for hooking up with a 15-year-old student. Let's check out the story. Gilbert police arrested a 22-year-old karate instructor for allegedly engaging in sexual conduct with a 15-year-old girl. Dylan Frederick De Palma was taken into custody on March 18th at his family's business, De Palma's Team USA Martial Arts Studio on Lindsay Road in Gilbert, police said on social media March 23rd. The business has several locations including Mesa, Queen Creek, Surprise, and Prescott Valley. De Palma, who was a Queen Creek High School varsity football player graduating in 2019, is facing three counts of sexual conduct with a minor. He was released on March 19th after posting a $25,000 cash bail. He was outfitted with electronic monitoring and placed under house arrest, allowed to leave only during the hours approved by his pretrial officer, according to court records. Other conditions of De Palma's release include that he must submit to DNA testing at Gilbert Police and to not have any contact with minors. He is to be represented by a county public defender after the court found him to be indigent. According to charging documents, De Palma was the girl's instructor and employer. Her mother reported to police on March 6 that her daughter informed her that she had sex with De Palma on three occasions. The victim had met De Palma through karate approximately seven years prior to the report and maintained contact with him during the past seven years, police said. In October of 2022, De Palma asked the victim to work for him at the karate studio's front desk. As a condition of employment, the victim provided her age to De Palma, which was 15, police said. The pair also exchanged cell phone numbers as part of her employment. Police interviewed the victim, and she said the first incident occurred on October 27th while at the karate school. De Palma and the victim went into an office in the back of the facility and had sex, and the next day, he fired the victim, police said. The victim, however, remained in contact with De Palma through the karate school, as she still attended classes at a Queen Creek location. On December 9th of 2022, De Palma and the victim engaged in sex at his home in Gilbert. He had picked up the victim and the pair drank shots of fireball whiskey before sex, police said. After sex, De Palma asked to see the victim's phone and deleted his number from the phone, which the victim didn't realize until she returned home, police said. She then communicated with De Palma on Facebook Messenger, and according to the victim, the communications included receiving nude images of De Palma and her sending nude or partially nude images of herself to him, according to the police. On March 2nd, De Palma and the victim had sex in a car down the street from her home in Queen Creek, she had snuck out of her bedroom window to meet him. He did not use a condom on this occasion, police said. On March 3rd, the victim messaged De Palma on his personal Facebook messenger, asking him to buy her a Plan B pill and emergency contraception pill. These messages were captured via photographs from the victim, which she sent to a friend. On March 10th, the victim called De Palma, where he identified himself and stated that the victim could not be pregnant because, quote, nothing happened in her, nothing went inside of her, that she couldn't be pregnant because his, quote, semen doesn't work anyway. He also admitted to knowing she was 15, the police said. When the victim asked De Palma why he didn't use a condom, he responded, no, I would have still loved to use a condom, but I just didn't anticipate doing that that night, so I didn't bring one, according to the police. The victim told De Palma that they had sex three times and described each incident to which De Palma responded, we've only actually done it maybe half a time, according to court documents. Later, he stated, Yep, all three. Don't regret none of it because it was you. Police said that De Palma also was involved in a report out of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department from November 17th of 2021. That report states that the deputy who responded to the scene observed a conversation between De Palma and a 13-year-old victim where, quote, De Palma was asking the 13-year-old for nude photographs after acknowledging she was 13 years old. De Palma was a karate instructor at that time as well. On March 18th, during his police interview after his arrest, De Palma denied ever having a sexual relationship with the 15-year-old, further stating that he was never alone with her in private and she had never been at his residence. Over 70 people by Friday morning on March 24th commented on the arrest on social media. Some parents complained that they were not notified until 10 p.m. March 23rd that Dylan was no longer on staff. Gilbert Police posted the arrest on social media just hours earlier. I know he was at Ryan Elementary's Fall Festival in early November promoting that martial arts place, wrote one woman on Gilbert Police's Facebook page. While another wrote, 
I always found him to be an obnoxious creep. He was my son's instructor for a while before we pulled him out. Gross. And so, so sad for the child involved. Gilbert Police are encouraging any additional victims or anyone with the information to call 480-503-6500. Let's unpack that. So a 22-year-old martial arts instructor gets busted with clear evidence via text message and DMs uh, that he was having some type of a physical relationship with a 15-year-old. That 15-year-old was not only a student, but an employee, but only an employee up to the point where she got fired the day after sleeping with him in the studio, mind you. He denies this, but clearly there's evidence via text message and direct message of what happened. He also got busted trying to get a 13-year-old to send him nudes with an eyewitness cop listening to the conversation. The dude's arrested on March 18th, but a memo about this doesn't go out to the parents or students of the martial arts school until the 23rd. Mind you, that didn't go out until after the police had made a post about it. On one hand, you have this person who is a serial offender asking a 13-year-old girl for nude photos and then going on to having uh, sexual relations with a 15-year-old. And that's just two that we know of. And then you have this martial arts studio, which doesn't let the parents know anything about this for five days after the arrest happens. Some of the parents most likely probably saw the police report before they got the memo from the martial arts studio. This is a martial arts studio that has a lot of locations. And now, of course, that leaves a question of, did this guy victimize more than just the girls that we know of. Unfortunately, this is the kind of case that pops up quite often here on McDojo Life. It's something that I can almost pull from every week where there's a case somewhere around where there's a martial arts instructor who sexually abused a student. This is probably the first case that I heard of where he sexually abused a student and then immediately fired her afterwards. Also, the response time for the martial arts studio to put something out there was definitely slow. If you're a martial arts studio, the best thing you can do if this happens Detach yourself from that person immediately, as quickly as possible. Put a memo out there stating that you've detached and removed that person from your studio as soon as possible. What you do not want is your students and the parents of your students to find out through a third party that this happened and you didn't tell them. That brings us to the question of the day. If you owned or if you do own a martial arts studio, how would you handle this situation? Be sure to write your answer in the comment sections below so that way I know you watch the entire video. As always, looking forward to reading your comments in the comment sections below. I want to thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and of course, memberships. Keep the martial arts legit.